what's up? Danny Hayasaka with Call One and Hill Direct, helping people do their business better. So today we're gonna check to see if the personalized audio isolation feature on Zoom impacts the performance of these various headsets that we're gonna test. So the way we're gonna do this is I'm sitting here roughly six to eight feet uh, from my wife. And so I'm gonna have her read something while I'm using these headsets. So I'm gonna record the Zoom meeting and I'm gonna first record the meeting uh, using uh, the Zoom background noise removal uh, on the set to default or normal. And then I'm gonna change it over to the personalized uh, audio isolation. And then we're gonna see whether or not it impacts the uh, audio performance. But I want you first to hear uh, her reading. So go ahead, start reading. Since 1987, we've believed in the fundamental principle that people do business with people. Our passion is to help people do their business better. We simplify access to business communications and All right, so you're hearing her in the background now. She's Call talking, and that's the whole goal. The goal is for you to hear her talking so that you can hear that this is what's going to be happening during those uh, Zoom meetings. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so first up is the Poly Voyager Surround 80UC, and currently I have it set to the auto setting for the uh, normal or the background noise removal on Zoom. And so this is what it sounds like using the Poly Voyager Surround 80 you see in a quiet environment in a Zoom meeting uh, with the background noise removal set to auto. So now I'm going to have Michelle start reading. Start reading. We created experience rooms and spaces to showcase how these technology. Okay, so she started reading. And so this is what it would sound like if I was in a Zoom meeting and she was sitting next to me having uh, conversations on her, uh, on her side of the, or on her workstation. Okay, so now I've switched it over to personalized audio isolation. And so this is what it sounds like in a quiet environment. And then now my wife's gonna start talking in the background. Our vast network of distribution partners and our own 30,000 square foot. Okay, so now she's talking in the background. So this is what it would sound like if you were using the Poly Voyager Surround 80 UC with the Zoom personalized audio isolation feature turned on uh, and using uh, this headset in the Zoom meeting. Now we have the Logitech Zone Vibe wireless headset. Uh, it's currently set to auto background noise removal via a Zoom meeting. And so now I'm going to have uh, my wife start talking in the background. From headsets and webcams for your desktop. So this is what it would sound like if you were using the Logitech Zone Vibe wireless headset in a Zoom meeting with background noise set to auto. Okay, so now I have it set to personalized audio isolation. And so this is what it sounds like in a quiet environment during a Zoom meeting. And then now my wife's going to start talking in the background. From headsets and webcams for your desktop. To and so this is what it would sound like if you're using the Logitech Zone by wireless headset in a Zoom meeting with personalized uh, noise isolation uh, enabled or turned on. Okay, so now I have the Jabra Evolve 2 earbuds. I'm in a quiet environment in a Zoom meeting with the background noise removal set to auto. And so this is what it sounds like uh, in a quiet environment. And so now my wife's going to start uh, talking in the background. As a nationally certified women's business enterprise, Call One Incorporated. So this is what it would sound like if you were using the Jabra Evolve 2 buds in a Zoom meeting with the background noise removal set to auto. Okay, so now I just switched it over to personalized noise isolation. And so this is what it sounds like using the Jabra Evolve 2 Buds in a quiet environment during a new meeting. And now my wife's going to start talking in the background. This includes reclamation services that enable organizations. So this to is what it would sound like if you're using the Jabra Evolve 2 Buds in a Zoom meeting with personalized, personalized noise isolation turned on. Okay, so now we have the Yaylink BH71. And so this is what it would sound like in a Zoom meeting with the noise suppression set to auto uh, on a Zoom uh, meeting platform. And so now I'm gonna have my wife uh, start talking in the background. Since 1987, we believed in the- so This is what it would sound like if you were using the daily PH71 in a Zoom meeting with noise suppression level set to auto. So now we've set the personalized audio uh, isolation feature uh, on. And so this is what it sounds like if you're using the Yaylink P871 in a quiet environment. Ooh, that was a dog barking in the background. Okay, and so now we're gonna have my wife start talking. We've created experience rooms and spaces to showcase- Okay, and so this is what it would sound systems. like if you were using the Yaylink P871 in a Zoom meeting uh, with personalized noise isolation turned on and someone was talking in the background. 
All right, so there you go. Did the Zoom personalized audio isolation impact the performance of the microphones? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, are there other headsets that you'd like to see tested uh, in this uh, scenario? Let us know again in the comments. And as always, if you like this type of video, give us that like and subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Thanks.